Okilani Ayo says she was inspired by her midwife to become a nurse. I marched up to AWC with three little babies and uh, told uh, Carol Hogard, who is my original mentor, um, I want to be a nurse. She was 27 when she started school. Graduating from Arizona Western College, she went on to work at Yuma Regional Medical Center, dedicating nearly 20 years to the NICU and labor and delivery. Now 52, she's a mother of seven and full-time online nursing professor at Southern New Hampshire University. I never thought I would leave labor and delivery. And um, about 10 years into nursing, I decided I was going for my bachelor's degree. And then right after that, I turned around and I wanted my master's degree. Her master's opened the door to become an adjunct professor. Leaning into that love of teaching, she decided to do it full time. That's when she went for her fifth degree, a nursing doctorate. I started doing the online teaching and getting to know my students. And she motivates her students with the same words her mom instilled in her at a young age. You need to evaluate. You're the only one that can say you can or can't. That can-do attitude got her through one of the most meaningful degrees to her impressive resume. One of my sons in particular um, had um, went through a big mental health crisis and finally was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. I knew that I could help in a different way. So I started the Bachelor of Arts in Psychology program at SNHU. Sunday, she graduated with a bachelor's in psychology, the sixth degree under her belt. The healthcare system needs to change. And in order to do that, we have to get nurses who understand what their abilities are, but also know their limitations. Loki is determined to be a part of that change firsthand. In Yuma, Alexandra Rangel, Arizona's family. Very cool.